When it comes to being involved in a highly stressful encounter, we often imagine that we're going to apply the right response. Whether we're going to fight, shoot, run away, call 911, or apply appropriate medical aid. However, in reality, this isn't always the case. And that's especially true if you haven't trained through or been through a stressful situation in the past. Today, we're going to learn some lessons on mindset, awareness, and the freeze response. Hi everyone, this is Chris with Staying Safe, and welcome to episode five of the Lessons Learned series. So I don't have a lot of background information on this video other than that it comes from Brazil. This is our victim. He's talking to this guy here with the umbrella and there's another guy behind this chain link fence. We're gonna see the attacker come down through here and he's gonna try and shoot the victim and his weapon is gonna malfunction. He clears the malfunction and then he actually shoots the victim. So it's easy to say things like, why didn't he fight back? Why did he just stand there and let himself get shot? But we don't really know. We don't have any background information. We don't know what this guy's mindset was like or his mentality. So let's go back and, and talk about a few things that may contribute to this. So the first thing is we can see that this area isn't the cleanest area. It doesn't look like the nicest area. There's not a bunch of nice cars. And it's clearly not because there's a murder in broad daylight in front of witnesses. So one, one aspect that might be adding to why the guy didn't do anything is what's called a normalcy bias. And this is when we underestimate the effect of whatever situation we may be in or the outcome, or we purposely dismiss pre-attack indicators or deviations from the baseline or anomalies because nothing bad has happened in the past. So this could be a factor in why he didn't respond like we would expect him to respond. Another thing I want I want everybody to look at here is that the bystanders don't also don't respond. They don't respond until there's a shot fired. So everybody's kind of standing around kind of seeing what's going on. So that there has to be something more to it. The next thing that could be playing into the lack of response here is what's called the, the freeze response. And this is when we're caught off guard or the stress is so much for us that we freeze or we get stuck in a loop and we can't get past that. And I wrote an article on this a while back. I'm going to put a link in the description. It's called Conquering the Freeze, which describes the freeze response, where it comes from, and then how we can mitigate that response through training and through our everyday practices in life. So going back to the concepts and lessons that we're going to learn here, mindset and awareness in this particular case go hand in hand. So when I say mindset, I mean being in the present moment, how your mind is focused on what's going on, but not so focused that everything else is left out, which is why it goes hand in hand with that awareness. Quick side note in that situational awareness or being aware in general is not a catch-all going to stop every attack from ever happening. Um, ambushes still happen, still can get caught off guard. You can't pay attention to everything all the time, 24-7, 365. It's, it's literally impossible. And there's a fine line to walk uh, you don't want to be on either end of the spectrum. You don't want to be the guy who's always looking over his shoulder constantly, looks like he's a schizophrenic walking down the street. And you don't want to be the, the guy who's lackadaisical, who's completely lost and oblivious, constantly daydreaming. So you want to be in the middle. You want to just walk that line of being aware, but not being so focused on being aware that you can't enjoy your life. Walk that line, find a balance for yourself. In this particular case we can see the attack comes from behind he's unless there's something that's going to alert him the sound of the person moving if the guy said something as he's walking up or the, the the sound that he makes as he's moving he's not going to know that somebody's approaching him and the tip here i want to give you is even if you're in a conversation with somebody you can use that person's reaction or their changing gaze to alert you of something going on around you. How many times have you been in a conversation where somebody looked away and then you turned to look to see what they were looking at because their attention went somewhere else? So pay attention to others as well, their responses to things. 
unfortunately, whoever edited this video or the original video had it zoomed in, so we can't see if this bystander here has any response at all. It doesn't seem that anybody has a response. It seems like he pulls out his gun, and only after the weapon malfunctions do people start to pay attention. And I think this is a contributing factor to why there was no response either. So I think as people are looking, the bystander and the victim are looking at this attacker, they can't really see what he's doing with his hands. They just see him manipulating something. Which I think that they're trying to figure out what's going on. Part of that either normalcy bias or being kind of frozen, not understanding what's happening or trying to gather too much information. This goes back into the concept from the last lessons learned video is have a threshold for your decision making. When something's happening off the baseline, there's an anomaly, there's a pre-attack indicator, and it's happening in your face like that, you need to make a decision right there. Don't try and gather more information of what's going on. At a minimum, leave the area. Get away. Confront the person. You have to make a decision. Just to recap real quick, mindset, be in the present moment. Not only are you going to be more aware of your surroundings, you're going to enjoy your life more. You're going to see more things. You're going to have better conversations and you're going to be more aware of the things going on around you. Observation, reactions, or you can gauge reactions or responses from other people around you to give you a heads up of what's going on. That's going to help you evaluate what you're seeing or alert you to things that you may not have seen. And lastly, the freeze response. Make sure you check out that article I wrote. Again, the link is in the description. It's going to give you a lot of good information, some other links to further reading. That's going to really help you understand the freeze response and how to mitigate that. I hope that you learned something from the lessons in this video. Make sure you check out the links in the description for further reading on the concepts that were covered. Remember, no one has more to lose when it comes to your safety than you do.